Hey folks, welcome back to my whiskey world. This is Harry. Today we're going to talk about a very, very unique whiskey. I'll say it's one of a kind. You cannot find it anywhere else in the world. Not, in, not, not other places in Scotland, uh, not other places in Asia, in, in, uh, in America, in Canada. It's just unique. If you already see that, it's my bottle. It's the Morlach 16 that we're talking about. Morlach is a distillery that's in the, uh, I think it's in the, oh, it's right, it's in the Dove town uh, of Scotland. It found in uh, 1823, which was the first and the only distillery in Dove town. Until later on when the uh, Glen Fitted, uh, they started the distillery there, but you know, Glen Fetter has a lot of influence by Morlac. And nowadays, the Morlac whiskey is also widely used in uh, several of Johnny Walker whiskey bottling as well, in their own blendings. Because, of course, it's owned by Diageo. Everybody's owned by Diageo, anyway. So, what's so special about Morlac? Okay, it actually has uh, a few bottles that they released after 12 years, 16, and the 20. And on this one, I'm going to review today is the 16th. It's called Distiller's Dream, okay? It's different from the 12. The 12 is the more meaty dream. And the reason, one of the reasons why more like is so unique is that it's the whiskey that has the, the very unique meaty taste that I've been still been searching for. But uh, today, I'm just going to enjoy this with you and see whether you're going to like it or not. You're going to try it yourself. Open it up. On the label is it says the beast of Dove Town. Now, why they call the beast of Dove Town? Okay. Now, in uh, more like distillery, there are six uh, steel pots. They have uh, number one, number two wash pots, and then also they have the spirit pots. And just like uh, most of Scotch or most whiskey, they do double distill. Okay, from from the wash pot and then to the spirit pot now I say I just mentioned that they have six pots so they build on more capacity but what's so unique is the number three uh, number three steel pot is called the we witch steel pot it's a bit smaller and that is the the pot that creates the, the amazing meaty taste of more like and that's this that's the part that this makes the distinguished taste from any other whiskey in the world I don't have the expertise to explain all these uh, process to you. If you like, you can uh, uh, search online or I can put some uh, information uh, on my website and you guys can uh, study more about it. And like I said, most of them have double steel and some uh, some of the, uh, like uh, Akatoshan, they have triple steel. Uh, most of the Irish uh, whiskey, they also have triple steel, but this one is, the 2.81 distill, 2.81. It's so precisely calculated. I'm not an engineer, so I will not go into detail on those. That's no sin. Beautiful smell. Uh, I'll say it's quite quite fruity very sweet oh beautiful look at the color it's robust amber very nice colors this is also uh, only uh, mature in sherry cask Oh, a little bit smoky meat, yes. Oh, it goes down smooth. 
it just goes from the mouth all the way down so nice and the aftertaste is remarkable mm. let me have a second shot oh it's so rich the fruitiness is so beautiful and if you're looking for some meaty taste this is the only one it, it, it you won't find the meat like a, a, a well-cooked bacon that's not what it means is that you have some meat uh, the meaty smoky meat element into this whiskey oh that's why it's called the beast of top top it's the well-kept secret uh, in the scotch world uh, if you haven't tried Morlock, you definitely have to try it if you like a sherry you have to try this because this will give you a remarkable uh, taste experience and you're gonna remember this taste for a long long time oh, and it stayed in my mouth as well it's overall a very very nice and beautiful whiskey highly recommend it guys make sure you try the more like beautiful mm. wow hey if you like my video make sure you subscribe and follow me and don't miss the next uh review and feel free to leave some comments and we can do a lot of exchange of information and you can tell me what else you found out from this whiskey because again i'm not an expert I, i'm a whiskey lover cheers guys ciao